Now, in, in terms of kind of the types of machine learning models that, that we have um, at a high level, there's, of course, uh, many more, but the, the two main categories is supervised and unsupervised. Uh, supervised models, you train from a labeled data set. Um, so you're making predictions of provided classes. So let's assume you have a data set of a, a set of uh, smart contracts that are either malicious or benign. It will learn uh, from that data set and then make a prediction of an unseen contract on whether it's malicious or benign. Um, and so the way you, you at a high level go about this, you obtain labels. And again, Etherscan is, is a great source, uh, but also you may internally have, have a, a set of labels. Um, create a rich normalized uh, set of features. And here, my, my general guidance is go crazy with the features. Like, don't worry about whether the feature is useful or not, uh, because the algorithm, when it trains on top of that, that featureized data set, will pick the features that are best uh, to separate those two classes. Then you train and test the model, then you and you do all of this offline. So this is not happening within a bot. So you, you, you generate the data set, you build your model, you test the model all offline, and that will then essentially give you a model file. Um, and that should then be deployed as part of the detection bot. Uh, the detection bot then essentially gets uh, transactions and blocks that come from the scan nodes. You then kind of create the featureized data set or the featureized uh, instance that you want to classify. So for instance, a contract gets created. Now you generate the same features as you have used in the, in the training stage. And then you pass that into the model to make a prediction. And the prediction then usually is an output from zero to one. Um, and that in terms of uh, kind of the, um, the confidence in a particular classification, you have to encode a threshold in the bot to then basically say, okay, if it's above 0.9, we call it malicious. If it's less uh, than 0.9, you call it benign. Um, and then you have to uh, monitor the performance of the model over time to mitigate risk. Um, so there is a little bit of a, a, a monitoring of the bot and iterating of the bot as the threat landscape changes. As I mentioned, this is not necessarily unique to machine learning models. It's also uh, something that really applies to any heuristic uh, sort of bots. Um, the downside here is that it requires a lot of data. Um, and then also there is um, an issue with class imbalance. So if you look at you know, blockchain, you have um, the majority of the transactions are benign and a really small percentage uh, are malicious. And so when you build a model, you need to make sure that you address the class imbalance either by weighting or utilizing algorithms that are invariant to class imbalance like SVMs. Um, and then of course, uh, kind of the output is that it generalizes and classifies unseen data, which is what we want. 